Okay, class, the first review um, lesson will just be on the atom, which this is just a very basic review. And the purpose is really to show you how this is going to play a role throughout the rest of the class. So when we think of the atom, um, there have been a number of different little models that we've worked through in Gen Chem 1 about how it works. But at its, basically at its core, what we'll see is that the atom is comprised basically of two parts. One, which is the nucleus in which the protons and the neutrons reside. This is tiny, tiny, tiny portion of the atom. And because neutrons and protons have the majority of the mass, it is, um, not, does, not only does it have a positive charge, but it also has essentially all of the mass of the atom itself. Surrounding the nucleus in, in um, sequential orbitals is of course where the electrons reside, the electron cloud. So densely packed nucleus carrying a positive charge, diffuse massive volume, carrying a negative charge where the electrons reside. Um, we don't really, so remember protons are basically, the number of protons is gonna dictate the element. The number of neutrons is gonna dictate the isotope of that element. And if, in the case of organic chemistry, the two isotopes we'll talk about the most are deuterium, which is a hydrogen atom with one proton and one neutron or carbon-13. Um, most carbon in the universe is carbon-12, but carbon-13 is important in um, NMR spectroscopy. Okay. Now, when it comes to making bonds, it's all about the electrons. So the electrons are involved in all the bond making and all the bond breaking processes. So it's the electrons and the outer, orbitals that have got essentially no mass, which will always be involved in the bond making and bond breaking, making and bond breaking processes. And so the overall mantra to this course is that the negatively charged electrons will always be seeking out the positive or par partial positive um, charge of a corresponding atom when making bonds. So what we're going to be asking ourselves basically is where are the electrons? And uh, people think that a lot of this course is about like you got to memorize a whole bunch of stuff. Not so. Really, if we follow the this basic mantra, well, where are the electrons and negative going to positive, it's just like a giant jigsaw puzzle that we can put together um, one step at a time, once we have got all the rules laid out. All right.